So this is the customer development cycle as per four steps to the epiphany, where you're practicing customer development cycle in actually one of the hardest spots to sell before adoption even occurs. And this is the, the crossing the chasm. This is the area where nobody's buying anything. I laugh because, well, it's sad and I have to laugh my way through your pain. 80% of startups die. So to the left of the chasm is early adopters buying things. And if you're made to practice selling where no one's buying anything, it's hard. Whereas if you practice in the customer development cycle new area, which is where the technologist is getting commercialized, meaning the person, the, the engineer, is learning to sell and promote. So before you commercialize a technology, the technologists themselves, they actually need to, to become commercial and become commercialized. So that's this area. Now, this area is where you're selling to Main Street and you're selling basic parts, uh, a brawn shaver uh, AC adapter, where the customer has lost their uh, ability to recharge and you're just selling that part on eBay. So you're just selling basic tools. You're selling basic things that uh, you're arbitraging, CS183A arbitrage. Now, when you're an engineer, you'll be practicing in selling in this area. In this area is where you, let's say you have a MongoDB or let's say you have any kind of basic, basic thing where you're selling and then the person says, hey, we have this new need to be able to DJ in the Uber API so that way we can better wrangle our guests from the airport to the Starward Preferred Guest Hotel. Do you have an ability to send text messages to our app users to give them updates on an Uber? So you're just barely innovating at all where to this day, Starward relies on the customer themselves to book their own airport travel uh, from the airport to the hotel, which causes X amount of drop off, causes Y number of cancellations, cancel causes for Z number of customers upset that they didn't wrangle themselves to the airport, to the hotel. So when the chief technology officer of Starwood asks, hey, can you add in the Twilio API to our current app? The CTO actually doesn't even know what Twilio is. It's a text messaging service uh, platform technology that you can just add on. That's what this area is in here. That's what this area is, is, is where people are already using the app. They just don't have, uh, they have notifications set up they don't have text notifications set up. They don't have the ability to uh, add in functionality of where is exactly the car that I ordered or that the hotel has provided like the Four Seasons Austin uh, in Austin, Texas. They actually provide a car. Where is that car? And the ability to use GPS using existing technology is what you're selling in here because it's an add-on. So let's say you're selling whatever basic thing. The CTO always says, hey, uh, by the way, because you're providing the most basic service here, they always ask the existing provider, hey, can you add on this supplemental service? They don't wanna to talk to some new supplier and have a new purchase order process because they'd rather just give it to their existing uh, legacy. That's what this area is. This is your foot in the door, okay? This is legacy. Now, none of these ideas are my ideas. They're from Bob Sutton, salesperson, sales trainer. Mark McCormack, salesperson, sales trainer. Harvey McKay, salesperson, sales trainer. They don't have engineering degrees, but I do, and that's why I took these notes for this is the methodology for cross the chasm. If this sounds like the fifth epiphany, it is. Four Steps of Epiphany is from Professor Stephen Blank. Dovetails, what they don't teach at Harvard Business School. Um, Eric Ries, Lean Startup. Uh, Escape Velocity by Jeffrey Moore, Crossing the Chasm by also Jeffrey Moore.